Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me and today we're going to finish up this little album that we've been working on for a couple of weeks now. We got this side, the cascading part on this side done. So we got that one down. I went ahead and put my mats on this one and then we're going to put this one down over here. Now I accidentally did the same color that's back here on the front. But I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to worry about it because not that much of it's going to show anyway. So I'm going to leave that, but now we are going to put some belly bands on these because when you hold this album up, as you can see, even when it's closed, this is going to fall out. Not fall out, but it's going to open up. So we're going to put some belly bands on. Now I have a piece of the cardstock, the brown cardstock here, and it is cut at six inches by one inch, and I scored at one half let me just take this other one and i'll show you i've got things spread out everywhere here here's this one we're going to make two of them i scored at one half at one then i scored at five and one quarter and five and three quarters and that gets the scoring on that part and then I just cut a little mat. It's just a little tiny thin mat to go down the center of that. So I am going to put my mat on here. And this is just cut at about through uh, five eighths by, and let me look and I'll show you about what the length is. Five eighths by four. So that's how big that one is cut. Now we didn't do this on the other one, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it. But this one we're going to we're going to go ahead and attach it on before we put this down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue right here, and I'm going to attach this back here to this part before I glue it down on the album. So I'm going to glue that right there, that little part right there, right there, right in the center. Now I'm just going to use some art glitter glue. I think it will hold it just fine without any problems. That looks close to center right there. So I'm using that part where I scored it at one half inch. Then that will come over, and then this will come down and around. Okay, now we're going to put a magnet on this little part down here. So let me grab my magnets, and I'm going to use the small one. Because the small one should work just fine. So I'm going to pull out a negative and a positive. I think I've got two here. There we go. We're going to take the backing off of one of these and we're going to stick it right there at the end, right at the end of that little piece there, that's where you want to put it. And then you just want to clip this one to that, so you've got your glue on this side, so just pull that backing off. And then it will be ready to glue down to the bottom here. But let's go ahead and glue this on here. I'm going to use art glitter glue again. Just so I'll have a little bit of wiggle room. And again, I'm going to turn it to the side so I can see. I'm going to put it right up at the top where that paper the mat comes just like we did that one. Just make sure that it's lined up. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to use my bone folder and I'm just going to go across that and make sure that the glue is sticking well. Okay. Then we can go ahead and fold this under and stick that magnet down. Press it down 
and pull that up and there you go there's your belly band on that one so when you hold it up it's not gonna fly away with you like this one is now we're gonna fix this one I'm trying to keep all of this in frame this little album is a little bit big to keep in frame let's see that's not the one I want I want this one okay so all I'm gonna do is go right up under in the center here and I'm just taking my little pokey tool and I'm just sliding it up under there right there at the back I'm just sliding it up under enough that I got a little bit of an opening to stick this down in so let's see if that's enough it needs to be a little bit wider And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the edges of this, angle it so that it'll go in there better. Let's make sure that's about right. There we go. Got that in there. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that back out and put some glue on there. Then I'm going to slot it right back in there. And I'll hold it up and show you in just a second. Turn around this way to make sure I've got it straight. You see? All we did is open that up and slid that down in there with some glue on it. And now we will... We've already got a magnet right there. I put one there the other day because I thought I would probably be uh, putting a belly band on this so I went ahead and put a magnet there let's see which one I got oops wrong one I need the positive side there we go so I just stuck the magnet to that and then I'm just going to fold this over and of course, this is not completely dry yet, but I'm just trying to hurry up. I'm going to hold that just a minute and let it dry a little bit before I go any further. Then I can pull this over. Glue my magnet on here. Okay, so there we go. We've got both belly bands on. And now, when we close this little album up, those are, the pages are not going to flop open, as you can see. Now, once you get photos and everything in there and they fill out, it'll it'll still be fine. But it's not, they're not going to flop back and forth as much when you get your photos in there. But that, I think, that is cute. Now, I do have a little problem here with this falling down. So, I think I'm going to put another magnet right there. And I'm going to put a large one on here. <clears throat> I didn't think about that when I put that on there. This album is made up as I go along. so. But I'm just going to stick another magnet on there. I'm using the large ones because I want it to hold really well. Take that backing off. And then I'm going to close this up just like it would be closed when I have the photos and everything else in there. I'm just going to press that together. Then when I open this up, I've got my magnet on there. And you can go ahead and cover these up if you want to. I'm not going to do that right now. Now, I do have a little issue here, and I think I, I actually dropped it the other day before this glue got dry. So I've got a little... Uh, piece of bling there that's coming loose so what we're gonna do is add a little bit more hot glue down through there just like that and then we're gonna lay that back on there and that should hold it 
If I don't drop it again, that'll hold it just fine. Okay. So now that looks a lot better. See that this piece is holding up there now. It's not giving way. Even when I lay it down, it doesn't. Now I'm going to do just a little bit of embellishing. I am going to put this right down the center of that belly band. I'm not going to glue it to the pages, but I'm just going to put it down the center of the belly band. So we're just going to put a little glue right down through there. And then just lay this on there. I had already mounted this on chipboard, so it will be fine right there. Cute. I like that. And then I'm going to put something over here, too. So I think on this side, all I'm going to do is put a strand of these rhinestones. Right down the center, just like that. There we go. Oops. Oh, I like that. That looks good. Okay, then you can go ahead and do something right here if you want to. I'm not going to do anything there. I think that's going to be plenty enough for me. And then, like I said, you can keep embellishing all you want, but I like mine just like it is. Now, I do have a few little photos that I can put in here. It's my little granddaughter. I can put those photos in there if I want. Let's just see. And these are some that I just printed off uh, on my little printer. And I have a Canon selfie. I'll link that below. I had someone the other day ask me. That is her, her stepsister. And then this one is my beautiful granddaughter. So I can go through here and just add some photos. And we can use some of these little uh, ephemera pieces. Let's see, let's use this one. This is not quite so big. That looks good. We could slide that in there if we wanted to. Just like that. And I usually lay out my photos and things before I start gluing things down just to make sure that I'm getting things like I want. You know, that could go right there. That's cute. I think I might put that right there. There we go. So I think I will glue those down. Ooh. And I use just a tape runner. And I'm just going to round off the edge of this one down here. Don't be afraid to trim your photos if you need to. It's not going to hurt anything. And I'll go ahead and round the top so that it'll all look the same. There we go. Then we can see all of that since we rounded that off and that's cute. And I think I will put this one down. Now on the Canon selfie printer, you can print your photos any shape, size that you want. Um, you can print them four by six 
or you can print a collage page that has a lot of different sizes on it. You can even print as small as this. These are some, and that's one photo right there. These are some that I printed off. So you can print them any size that you want. That's what I like about the Canon Selfie. Let's go ahead and flip this over, and I, I've got this one that I trimmed out around of my granddaughter. Okay, I like that. That says you make my heart beat. She's a mess, I'm telling you. This girl is a mess. So I think I will just put that down like that. Put that right up there. Just kind of put her in the center of those. There we go. So you can just keep going, adding your photos just like that. Close it back up. And you have got your little album. I think that's all the photos I'm going to add right now. I've got more of my grandchildren that I'm going to print out and put in here. I'm going to leave this, this one completely for my grandchildren. So since I love them to death. All right. That is your little mini album completed. So let me know in the comments below how you like this. If this is something that you're going to be trying. If you like this style of mini album. If you want to see some more unusual mini albums. Let me know in the comments below. And up here at the top you'll find other videos. You'll find the, the playlist for this album. If you want to go back and watch the first two videos. You'll find that up here. And then you'll also find another playlist that you might want to check out. Down here in the bottom on the left hand side you'll see the link to our store where you can buy those magnets like I use and many other things. A lot of people ask me what this is that I have on the side of my glue that holds my pen. It is a magnet. It's one of our basic gray magnets. I love it. I have not lost my pen since I put that on there. They're already self adhesive so you don't have to worry about putting any glue there. And it holds very well. This is the second bottle that this same magnet has been on. But then over here in the right hand corner. If you'll click on my face. You can go over and subscribe to our channel. And I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.